They are your creature. We're all rolling on the back of somebody else. That's why we need to know about it. Now, I didn't critique this film, but it didn't have any bubble of soldiers in it, so I didn't critique it. If you, if you do a film about anybody black at the turn of the century, you don't include us, then I get upset about it. And I told him not to ever come back to Dallas, Texas <laughs> without doing something on the Buffalo Soldiers and wearing a pair of cowboy boots. Y'all got to liven up. If you don't, I'm going to stay here and talk to me. <laughs> 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 oh, Willis tells me, this means to hurry up. You see what I'm talking about? <laughs> it doesn't take much to make a movie, but some of you can make a lot of money off of it. So with that being said, I'm going to get off the stage. Let me hear it for the book <laughs> You know, considering Hollywood belongs to not us. Well, it, it used to not belong to us, but Tyler Perry is putting two feet up in it. Like, yeah, we don't even need Hollywood, we just need Atlanta. Come on down to the peach and make yourself a movie. So congratulations to Mo McCoy for even having the way to put this movie together. I like to see people with a vision and follow that vision out and then let the world share it. Um, not only did he produce 24 uh, feature films, he's also the owner of Fireproof Flicks in Radio. He's from Grand Rapids, Michigan, and he was in a hip hop group. How many can say that? Was anybody here in a hip hop group? When you was young, no one had a hip hop group. You and three girls called yourselves Deluxe. Or you and the two other boys called yourselves, you know, B Street Plus. Nobody? So you mean to tell me Boss Man is the only hip hop artist in here? Stand up, Boss Man. Yeah. Boss Man has done song, he's on YouTube, he's on Instagram, and, and he raps about getting good grades. Yes, give it up for Boss Man. And he's with San Cobra Theater. Boss man, you want to say a few words? Tell, give, give a little bit of, uh, a couple of bars in your rap. Start off with the great part, because it's my favorite part. Go ahead. Let me get in the camera. I'm a boss. Here, come on, here, you're on stage, sir. Give me, give me. This is your stage right now. I'm a mama, so I'll be getting chills. <laughs> I'm the boss man, little guy with big. Go ahead, no, go ahead, go ahead. I'm the boss man, little guy with big dreams. I'm gonna cry 
people I met through Facebook, it was not a friend that helped. So, go on and introduce the case. so these were, let them speak. you know, I'm going to let everybody speak and introduce their own selves and why they were a part of it. But once again, it's not for God. Believe in yourself. If you got a dream, go for it. Start with Eric. Paul McCallum, I played the kid, cowboy in the movie. My name is Terrence Banks. I play the crazy sheriff, talking sheriff. Get him the accent. Get him the accent. Get the accent. My name is Terrence Banks, and I play the sheriff. Down out in these chains, on Steve Bank Street, playing city. That's where we started. I'm making the accent. Cap, what we need. I just want to go and keep going now. We ain't got a lot of time. Hi everybody, my name is Sharon Susan and I play Madam Sugar in the movie. Come on down to the Sugar Shack. This is my very first film and I just thank God for giving me the opportunity to be a part of this production and to uh, start something that is very fresh and new and I think everybody who is loving us can do this movie. Hi, I'm Jackie Baker. Um, I wrote the theme song the movie, and so, and then I have a little part today. We thank you guys for welcoming us here as part of the Black History Month, and um, I just like to know everyone that has participated in this movie. We've met some wonderful people and made some great, great friends. So at the end of the day, it's not so much about being seen, it's about the relationships that you make when you're doing something like this. Hello, my name is Monica Howard, and I play Tracy, uh, Black Cowboy's wife in the movie. As you can see, I have a lean slap. <laughs> and I want to thank uh, Kat, uh, like you said, it's not like the God, uh, through his vision, uh, bring us all together, and uh, we, are, we are truly a family uh, after filming this movie, um, voluntarily, actually, and, um, but we know that when God does something, it's for a better cause, a different cause, so, this is just the beginning for us. Good evening, my name is Claire Peters, and Kat has reached out to me. We've been Facebook friends for a while. I'm a survivor of domestic violence, and he saw something that I did, and he asked me to come and give that message. So I was thankful and honored that he had asked me to come and do it and be a part of it. And we become family. Chloe Warren, I'm
Hello, my name is Herschel Andrews. I just got it rolled in on the horse pretty fast, and actually I jumped off the horse, and, but I didn't actually jump, I was stumbling. So they said, we're gonna pick that part, and I said, it sounds good to me. Once again, thank y'all very much. Once again, if you got a vision and a dream that God gave you to you, have to. Sometimes we can't because we got to make that paycheck back home. Thank you. I always, I always follow the dream because if you don't have a dream, hey, like Mark said, if you're not, I don't know where you're going, it's hard to start. Huh. Um, right, class, quick, are there any audience members that have a question for the cast? Please, just holler it out. One back in the back. How long did you, sh did you shoot? How many days was the shoot? Um, it, it, Mo, answer. We did a, How many days? Two weeks, by, three by, weeks? Because we had to, the fact that we didn't have a budget, we had to, just piece it together. Yeah, just piece Shoot it when right, you could. Right. Shoot it when Locations you could. cost money. Scripts cost money. Right. Actors right. cost money. Uh, we don't work for free as a rent day. So here it comes the thing. Yes. And bam, here at the African American Museum. If you have a dream of making a film, if you have a dream of being in a film, if you have a dream of writing a film, come on over. Come on over. Get involved. Get involved. Because see, the thing that we have, we have a lot of crabs in the barrel. Mm. We have a lot of crabs in the barrel. Hey, I man, see you preach. getting up, and you ain't going to get up, and you ain't going to leave me because I want to get up. But here at Bound, we want to poop as the ants do. If we can be a chain, if we can link ourselves together, if we can get out of this barrel. Oh, we can get out of this barrel. And we can make this family good. Because that's what we all about. Us working together to make it better for the children who come behind us. Hey, we want to appreciate you for coming out today. Make sure you get on the mailing list so you know what's going on here at the African American Museum. Thank you very much. One last thing, one last thing. We want to make a part two, guys. Uh, once again, we did that one with no budget, so we're going to need, if you know people, if you guys want to be a part of it, like he said, be a chain. And let's do this thing. Let's show Hollywood that we can do this. We can do this. Thank you. Now, Cass is waiting on you out the lobby. And don't forget tonight to have a VIP reception at Club Odyssey. Uh, that's over at uh, oh, Cass and Westmoreland. Them and boots will pay the whole crew. For real. Let me find out she got a million dollars and don't want to shit.
play Tony that knows karate. Uh, I, I had a good time making this movie. And, uh, one of the things we want to focus on, if you noticed in the movie, they were on fire. And they wanted to start off the Black Cowboy Legacy, uh, just promoting different things like stopping the violence, uh, domestic violence, bullying. We tried to cover a lot of things in the movie. Social media, uh, Instagram, Mo Money McCoy, M O E M O N E Y M C C O Y. On LinkedIn as Mo McCoy, Facebook as Mo McCoy, or you can just Google Mo McCoy. Thank <laughs> you. 